I'd like to thank you for this very intelligent and challenging debate. And in the spirit of this conflict, I'd like to make uh, uh, an incredible philosophy statement and gauge your reaction uh, to the statement. I truly believe that I am the one God. Am I wrong? Okay, uh, the question that you said was, I am the, the one God or the true God or something? I am the one true God. You're the one God. What I would say is, prove it. Make it. I think your question illustrates the difficulty in ascribing divinity to an individual. Because the question is, what would an individual have to do in order to prove that he is God? And in fact, there is no such proof. There is no such proof given anywhere in the scriptures that says that when God comes, he will be like this, and this is how you will know that this is God. So there is nothing really that Jesus could have said or would, would have done that would have proven that he really is the Almighty God. The Old Testament scriptures are very clear. There is one God who is unseen, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And uh, he is uh, very different from and separate from the things that he has created. And there is no indication that God himself will become a man and now come and, and make the claim that he is God. In any case, there is no recorded words of Jesus anywhere where he, during his lifetime here on earth, actually said something similar to what the gentleman asked. There's no recorded words in the Gospels that say that Jesus said, I am the one true God, that these words do not exist. Thank you.